Alam uh, This is going to be a quick video. Um, this is going to be the art of war, the art of war 101. Okay. Uh, before we start, just getting into a little bit, it's going to be quick, quick and short. Uh, let's read Isaiah chapter two, verse two. And it says, "And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Most High, the Most High's house, shall be established." The mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow to it. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the most high Yahweh, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law, or the Torah, the Thawarah, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. So this is key. Um... As far as this prophecy, this is a uh, perpetual prophecy. It already happened and it is still happening. Um, the proof of this is the fact that everyone is scattered within the four, throughout the four corners of the earth. And they all have some form of a Torah or law uh, in their household or they can get access to it. So this is... Uh, a prophecy that's been already fulfilled and a prophecy that is perpetually fulfilled. Now, I opened up with uh, The Art of War by Swin Tzu or Sun Tzu, which is pronounced, if people pronounce it, Swin Tzu or Sun Tzu. Who's to say uh, which either one of those pronunciation, pronunciations are wrong, but we're going to go forth with a quick lesson. And I'm going to end it. Uh, the way of war is... A way of deception. When able, feign inability. When deploying troops, appear not to be. When near, appear far. When far, appear near. The reason why I'm reading this is because in these times, um, we definitely need the Torah in order to have some sort of fellowship or some, so some sort of togetherness. Without the Torah, there will be no peace. It's just, it just comes with the territory. You, if you want to bring people together without a Torah, uh, you know what? I, I highly doubt any of that will be successful because we had a lot of leaders before our time. Martha Luther King, Malcolm X, Gandhi. Uh, we had all these people they were really trying to bring people together, but they never succeeded in doing so. Because man's ways are corrupt. The only way we will come together is if we are under one accord, under the Torah, under Yahweh's law, under his statutes, laws, decrees, ordinances. Uh, there is no other way. So, um, don't want to sound like a Christian. I'm not saying that, oh, yeah, you know, you know, uh, but... From my experience and through my learning and through uh, my learning in history, where a lot of this has been attempted togetherness and bringing people together, where it has failed, reading this gives us uh, a glimpse into why. And reading this also tells us that the nations will come together inadvertently and all disputes will be settled with this Thawara and no other no other doctrine under the sun. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it with that. Shalom, all praises to the Most High, who is Yahweh, who is Akkad. Shalom.